Hi everyone, this is Charm again from Ready to Dote Philippines, a channel about personal finance, entrepreneurship, and adulting how-tos. In last week's video, we talked about getting started on YouTube and how you can earn on the platform. In this week's video, I'll be taking you guys behind the scenes of that video, the process of how I plan, film, and edit my videos. I actually partnered with Skillshare for this video and I'm very excited to talk more about them later. So if you guys are interested, then please keep on watching. So first is I work on my topics and I actually have a Google Sheets file where I have two tabs. First is my ideas tab. Whenever I have ideas, I put it in that column and I categorize it if it's part of personal finance, entrepreneurship, or adulting. And then I have another tab called scheduled or that's basically my scheduled videos for the next few months. That's where I take topics from the ideas tab and put it over at the scheduled tab. So I usually take around one to two hours every maybe three to six months to plot out my entire schedule. So I actually plan my videos ahead of time like months in advance but I'm not too strict about it. If a video idea comes along and I want to do it, I do. Once I have my scheduled topics, I work on three to five video outlines at a time. I work on them on Google Docs, so I'm very reliant on the whole Google system. I work on several video outlines at a time because I keep on thinking about the next few videos. And whenever I have ideas that I want to do in specific videos, I make sure that I have the files already so I can just write them down there. So basically, when it comes to these multiple video outlines that I'm working on, they're usually pretty general outlines. When it's time to do the video, that's when I refine them and do more research about the video. And that usually takes me around three to six hours in total. It depends on how research intensive the topic is. So it's the day before filming day and this is usually when I refine my script. Like I said, I usually work on maybe three to five scripts or outlines at a time. So I've been working on this for a few weeks now. So I stress about this part the most because it entails most of the research and also it will dictate whether I'll be filming for 45 minutes or 2 hours. So it really goes down to how ready I am with my outline. So I'll be working on it for a few more hours maybe and then I will be ready to film tomorrow. Okay, so I've been editing this for quite some time now. I try to not miss out any details, but I still will. I'm not perfect. So yeah, I will see you tomorrow when I set up my filming area and I will film my video. Alright, I'm about to film right now and this is my filming setup. Or this is my filming face. I have a little bit of makeup on. I'm in proper clothes. I'm not in house clothes anymore. And I know it's a bit noisy because the aircon is still on or um, the electric fan. Uh, I have to kill those during filming. So it's pretty hot most of the time. So if you notice me like sweating, that's the reason. Listen to the difference. Yeah, that's why I don't have aircon or electric fun when I film. Alright, let's start. So as I mentioned, next is filming. And this is a time lapse of me setting up my quote-unquote studio and the whole process of setting up, changing, and doing my makeup, filming, and keeping everything usually takes me about two to three hours. Okay, now let's talk about equipment. When it comes to my equipment now, I recently upgraded to a mirrorless camera. I bought this secondhand Fujifilm X-T100 for 20,000 pesos. And I'm honestly still figuring this out the past few months. And it's definitely much fancier than my iPhone camera. But the flip screen viewfinder is definitely a game changer. 
I used the same tripod that I got for around 109 pesos and I was worried at first because the camera is like three times heavier than my phone but it all worked out because it turns out the tripod could handle it. I still use the same tabletop ring light that's around 260 pesos but I added this light behind me and this is the Yongnuo RGB LED light or the YN300 Air 2. I know that's a mouthful but I'll link everything down below so don't worry. Sometimes I also make use of natural light which is free so you guys can also do that. For my mic, I now use a shotgun mic that's on top of my camera. It's the Boya Shotgun Mic MM1 Plus. It's around 1,390 pesos. And I also have a Boya Lapel Mic or the M1 that's around 479 pesos for backup. So I want to quickly thank the sponsor of this video. If you guys notice that my B-roll game is improving, first of all, thank you. But also, kidding aside, that's because I've been taking Skillshare classes the Last month. I'm very new to filmmaking but I want to keep on improving my videos here on YouTube. Thanks to the many awesome and quality classes that Skillshare provides, I'm slowly but surely getting better. I took some classes on filmmaking, video production, and script writing and I love the class by Matt Belasai in particular called Going Viral. It's a great insight especially for people like me who are trying to improve their storytelling skills especially online. I have the premium account that gives me unlimited access to all the classes for less than $10 per month for an annual membership. Skillshare is giving the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description a free trial to the premium membership so you guys can explore your creativity as well. So. I just finished filming my video. I filmed it twice. I've been here for a little over two hours um, because I didn't like my first um, take, so I had to redo it. So yeah, now it's time to keep my set up and edit. Now, when it comes to editing all of my videos, I still use my iPad Air 2019. I have a Lightning SD card reader and it's what I use to import my files. Fujifilm does have an app and I use it to transfer photos, but when it comes to heavier files, I prefer to use a card reader because it's much, much faster. I edit using an app called Duma Fusion that I got for 1,490 pesos for a lifetime subscription and I subscribe to Canva Premium annually which comes out to about 390 pesos per month. I also have 200 gig of iCloud storage that's already running out because of my channel. I usually do sit down videos so when I put all the clips in the timeline, it's usually around 50 to 70 minutes long. So I get to cutting those clips and I usually use the audio as my guide and play it at two times speed. Once I turn a long footage to a 15 to 25 minute rough cut, I proceed to refining it from there and add visual elements like texts, icons, b-rolls, and audio and sound effects that hopefully helps the viewer be more engaged with my video. This whole process usually takes around 6 to 10 hours in total and I spread it across 2 to 3 days because I found that editing for 10 hours straight is just too much for my eyes and my back. So in between editing my videos, I work on my thumbnail. I use Canva as well and if I don't know what to do with my thumbnail, I get inspiration from other similar videos already on YouTube. Once I finish my video, I get ready to publish. The posting process is another 1-3 to three hours as I wait for my video to be uploaded on YouTube. I polish my title, my description, and my tags. I usually bring out my old laptop to use TrueBuddy to see how I can optimize my video through keyword research. I set my end screens and info cards and schedule my video to premiere on Sundays at 6 p.m. I'm always at my premieres to chat with my early viewers and then after that, I like, heart, and reply to comments the next few hours and I do that in the next morning too. I also populate my videos on other social medias like my Instagram and Facebook page and Facebook group and I monitor my videos analytics for the next few days just to know if you guys like that or not so that I can improve my next videos. So yeah, that's my entire process from planning and making my outline, filming, editing, and posting, and populating it all over the internet. And once that's done, it's the same cycle again every week. 
So yeah, if you guys like this video, then please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload another video. And if you guys like more content like this on how you guys can earn as a content creator or how you can earn online in general, then please comment down below. And again, I know that adulting is already hard and that's why I make these videos for you guys. This has been Charm again from Ready to Adult Philippines and I will see you on my next video. So yeah, this is usually where I take the thumbnail photos, so let's do that. Hi! It's around 260,000... Thousand? Thousand? <laughs> Malag.